Okay. And so if D is an NM tangle diagram, there's going to be CKH of D is a chain complex over a certain category that I'll call, um, say, CBN, so this is Barnaton's category, and I'll, again, write the N and the M here. Okay. I'm not going to be able to take the homology of this chain complex. Okay, this category isn't an abelian category, so there is no homology. But I can still talk about chain homotopy equivalence. And so if D and D prime both represent T, then they're related by Reitermeister moves, and CKH of D is chain homotopy equivalent to CKH of D prime. Okay, so how are we going to how are we going to build this chain complex? <clears throat> so to build this chain complex, I have to talk about cobordisms. Um, so let's suppose. I have P0 and P1 are planar tangles, so say they're in P, N, M. So definition, a cobordism, uh, let's call it sigma going from P0 to P1, is an embedded, let's say, sigma inside of R times I. This is the planar tangle space times another I, sort of in the T direction. So I'll call this I coordinate S and this one T. such that um, the boundary of this sigma, what does it look like? Well, it has a piece that looks like P0 times 0. It has a piece that looks like P1 times 1. But it also has pieces in this boundary coming from the x's. So union, let's say, xn times 0 times i union xm times 1 times i. Okay. And if I have a cobordism like this, there are actually two kinds of compositions that I can do. So now I have two ways to compose. So there's what's called horizontal composition. So if I give you, say, if um, P is in P and M, P0 and P1 are in P and M, 
and oops, P0 prime and P1 prime are in P and ML, and I have cobordisms sigma going from P0 to P1, and sigma prime going from P1, nope, P0 prime to P1 prime, then I can stack in the S direction, the direction that I've been drawing when I compose tangles, and get sigma sigma prime. That's a cobordism from P naught, P naught prime to P1, P1 prime. Okay, so I also have vertical composition. So if P naught, P1, and P2 are all in P and M, and I give you sigma naught from P naught to P1, sigma 1 from P1 to P2, then I can stack in the T direction and get sigma 1 composed with sigma naught. That's a cobordism from P naught to P2. So here I stack in the T direction. Okay, so the fancy way to say this, I have these two different sorts of composition. Is to say that I have a two category P where the objects are the XNs, the one morphisms, are tangles, and the two morphisms are cobordisms. Okay, and I'm not going to try and write down the axioms for a two category, but the sort of model thing that you should think of when you think of a two category is this category of tangles. Hmm? Yes, these are, sorry, yeah, these are, of course, there's another, <laughs> um, yeah, since this is P, there's another category, you know, where I didn't take planar tangles, but let's stick with this one here. Okay. And in particular, so, um, So, for example, the set T, oops, P and M is itself a category where the morphisms are cobordisms. Okay. All right, so now, now I'm going to do something totally unmotivated, okay, but which turns out to be really handy. Okay, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enhance, enhance this category just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to define a category. Let's call it Cobb n, comma, m has objects, again, sort of T and m, just like in this, oops, P and m, and morphisms. Are pairs um, S comma A where so if this is in the morphisms 
from P0 to P1, where what? Where S is just an ordinary cobordism from P0 to P1, and A um, subset of the interior of S is a finite subset. So if D is a tangle diagram, so a cube of resolutions um, assigns to a vertex V an object, oops, this is a NM tangle diagram. Let's say dv in the objects of Cobb and M, and it sends to an edge E going from V0 to V1, um, SE, that's a morphism. Uh, SE, the empty set, so no empty finite set. Um, going from dv0 to dv1. Okay, so I have my cube of resolutions is decorated with objects and morphisms of this category. Can we define the category? The objects are tangles, right? Not like the, you were objects of p and m. Um, ah, so the objects, ah, uh, Right, so the objects are, let's say, in PNM, right? So the objects are planar tangles. Yes, okay. Okay, now I'd like to, I'd like to build a chain complex out of this cube. Okay, and I'd also like to be able to put in those factors of Q, right? I sort of multiplied by Q. Okay, and I can't do either of these things in this category, so I'm gonna have to do a few general category things to make a big enough category that I can do those things in. So let me just say a few general words about category theory. All right, so, so, Call this a definition. So a category C is pre graded if there's some function that we'll call Q, the grading. What does this do? It takes the set of all morphism spaces in the category to the integers, such that if I take a composition, Q of alpha composed with beta, that's Q of alpha plus Q of beta. So as an example, I'll leave this for you to check. Cobb and M is pre-graded where Q of S comma A is chi of S minus M plus N over two minus two times the number of elements in this set A. Okay. 
Now, if C is pre-graded, I can form um, what can I form? I can form, let's call it CGR, um, these objects are pairs um, Xn. X is an object of the original category and n is an integer. Okay, and I'll say that the set of morphisms from xn to ym, that's the same thing as the set of morphisms from x to y, but the grading is different, so q of alpha in here is Q of alpha, where I think of it in here, plus M minus N. Okay. So in this category, I can multiply by powers of Q. So another way that I could write this thing is I'll call it Q to the N X. Okay, so now I need to think about what's a chain complex. So, say definition C is additive if for all um, X and Y in objects of C, uh, two things. One is that the set of morphisms, um, which in an additive category I'll typically write as the set of Homs, is a Z module. So it's an abelian group. And two, um, X directs some Y is an object. Okay, so if C is an additive category, I can consider chain complexes that look like, say, CI goes to CI minus one is the CI minus two, where each of these are objects of the category. And then I have morphisms DI and DI minus one, et cetera, where DI minus one composed with DI is zero. And that makes sense because this lives inside an abelian group, right? We really needed this property here. Okay, so of course, this category Cobb isn't an additive category either. Um, Sorry, are Homs and Seeger just the same? Um, so Homs and Seeger are the same, that, that's right. But I have to, Right, so I have to keep track. The only thing that's different is that I write down, you know, the grading changes. Okay. Uh, so is it the, the, the letter is the same as N and M? Um, this is N and M. This is N. Yeah, there are two different letters here, and this is M and this is N. Yes. OK. 
Okay. Well, given C, I can form an additive category Call it add C. Objects are formal direct sums of objects of C, and Um, of a direct sum i equals 1 to n xi direct sum i equals 1 to m y j is the set of m by n matrices. Um, let's say fij Fij is in the Z module generated by morphisms from Xi to Xj. Okay, so I just build myself an additive category. Okay. All right, and so now we've got two minutes left, so let's make a statement. Um, so, if D is a tangle diagram, I can form C of D, okay, um, this is a complex over add of Cobb N M G R. Okay. Um, at the level of object. This C of D is again the direct sum of let's say Q to the norm of V, dV, and um, let me just say D, as in Kovanov. Okay. All right, so at this point, We've built a chain complex, okay, but we've done, we've sort of done, and I apologize for making you sit through this, right? We've done nothing but formality all lecture, right? Um, and in particular, the, you know, this chain complex has, the way the C of D has no hope of being invariant under the Reitermeister moves, okay? So the key step here that we'll do in the next lecture is that we pass to a quotient category, which is this category CBN and M. Okay. And th this is not a formal thing. Th this category CBN and M is a genuinely interesting category, okay, in which you can compute things. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll compute and we'll see that in this quotient category, the complex that we get is invariant up to homotopy under the Reitermeister moves. Okay, so I'll stop here. <laughs>